Charlotte Tilbury's Viral Makeup. We're doing a full face. It's a mixture of her OG products and then some new products that she has recently released. A lot of these I already owned. I already talked about it. I love a lot of them. And then some of them I haven't tried yet. I'm excited. Let's begin with the eyes because we have eyeshadows. This is Charlotte Tilbury's, her new Pillow Talk Hypnotizing Pop Shot Single Eyeshadows. They're easy color to make your eyes pop. I got this shade right here, which I'm so excited that I was able to pick it up. Pillow Talk Ultraviolet. It's a multi-dimensional multi eyeshadow, and that's the color. <gasps> so stunning. Let's watch her. First step, I'm priming the eyelids. This is not Charlotte Tilbury's. This is a Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend this in and give it a couple of minutes, not a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds to set. I'm just gonna take my fingertip. It doesn't feel dry. It has a nice texture to it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh wow. That is pigmented. Oh, that's stunning. So a little bit of fallout underneath, but it's not bad. Wow, that's really stunning. I'm gonna take a bigger fluffy brush and just very gently soften it. Okay, I think I want to add a little bit of eyeliner to my lash line and maybe tight line, but I'm going to use her, it's like the two-in-one eyeliner. One side is metallic and the other side is matte. I'm going to use the matte side and this is in copper charge. And I'm gonna gently kind of smoke it out. For mascara, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. This one is everywhere. It's a viral mascara and she also came out with, I think it's a either a red or a brown version of this mascara. The one that I have is super black and ah, I don't love it. I don't even like this mascara. It does not wear well on my lashes. It really weighs my lashes down. It transfers, it smudges and it flakes on me throughout the day. So I just don't like this mascara. I did get a new one from her. This is Legendary Lashes Volume 2 in black vinyl. So I was thinking we could do one to one just to show you guys the difference. So right side, Legendary Lashes Volume 2, left side, Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. That was not bad. It's actually really pretty. Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes on the left side, the Pillow Talk Push Up Mascara. It's a lot more intense. Do you see what I'm talking about with that formula? It's a little, um, it's almost like pasty. Overall, both mascaras by Charlotte Tilbury, they're pretty mediocre, if I'm gonna be honest. But Legendary Lashes, I think it was easier to apply and I'm getting a little bit more definition and length. I'm getting a lot more volume and pigment from Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. If I were to say one product is the most viral from Charlotte Tilbury, I would say it's the Hollywood Flawless filter. But I think what's making it viral is the e.l.f. Halo Glow filter. Perfect dupe for this, in my opinion. e.l.f. looks great on its own, but I personally am not a fan of the Hollywood Flawless filter all over my face. I like it only in certain areas, and that's what I'm going to do. I like it on the high points of the face. A little bit on the nose, a little bit right here. I'm just gonna take my brush that I'm going to use my foundation with and work this in. For foundation, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I like this one for those days where I want my skin to look supple, very plump, very hydrated. It's not the most long lasting, so if I'm not wearing a primer, it's gonna last between six to eight hours just because it never really fully sets down because it is so hydrating. So I think if I were to recommend this to someone, I would say if you have very dry skin, mature skin, someone that wants that beautiful glow, dewy skin throughout the day, I think you will enjoy this. The texture is very thick and you don't need that much product. You can use your fingers to apply this. You can use a dampened sponge or a brush. I personally prefer a brush for my foundations. And the specific one is the newest Rose and Ben Her C42 brush, which is amazing amazing for foundation. This foundation, if you apply heavy handed, if you do like two pumps, I don't think it looks beautiful on the skin <laughs> as the name suggests. I think a little bit goes a long way with this foundation to get the best texture on the skin. But I mean, look at that glow. It does have a little bit of tackiness, but very, very slight. Let's move on for, you know what? Let's do the liquid contour first. This is another really viral Charlotte Tilbury makeup product, her contour wand. And I recently checked the dupe 
from Milani. What is it? The Conceal and Contour, the liquid contour. And I think it's actually better, the Milani, than the Charlotte Tilbury. This is what it looks like. And I personally like to blend it in right away. I find that it does set kind of fast, but I think if you apply it to those areas where you want that contour, it blends in really nice. There's a big conspiracy around this product that this entire tube, it's filled with air. <laughs> And if you compare how much you get versus Milani, Milani, you actually get less. In the Charlotte Tilbury one, they're saying you get 0.41 fluid ounces versus Milani, it was 0.2. And the brush I was using was Makeup by Mario F1 brush. Moving on to concealer, Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Same family as the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I like to actually wear these both together, just you know, for that really beautiful radiant glow. Again, just like the foundation, a little bit goes a long way. It's a thicker concealer formula. As you can see, it's almost pasty. And when you touch it also, it has a good like cream texture, but again, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm using Rare Beauty Concealer Brush, one of my favorites. And I'm just really gently packing this concealer in places where I need to either brighten, conceal, and lift <laughs> my under eye area. And just like with the Beautiful Skin Foundation, if you go heavy handed, it will make your under eyes look heavier and accentuated. I prefer a lighter touch and it gives a beautiful finish. For blushes, we're gonna go with her new hottest release, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. It's a matte blush. So I have the three shades that we could get on Sephora. Coral, we have a nice soft pink and then a beautiful uh, red. You just gently squeeze. Ooh, they have a beautiful texture. Very blendable, wow. Pink pop, that's so satisfying. It's a little warmer than I thought. So you can see, it looks intimidating, but when you really blend it in, it gives just the most beautiful, soft wash of color. And then we have, what is this one? Peach pop, ooh. And they have a really nice soft velvet texture. All right, let's start with the pink pop first and then we can layer. <laughs> Give it a little squeeze, there we go. The blush brush by Rose and Ben C41. That's really pretty. I actually really like that. And I'm putting three dots and it does blend really nice. But I'm also not letting the blush sit on my cheeks. To set all of my glowy makeup, I'm going to use another very viral OG Charlotte Tilbury makeup product, her Airbrush Setting Flawless Finishing Powder right here. I am in shade One Fair and I like this setting powder because it's so finely milled and if you layer it throughout the day, if you get oily like I do in my T-zone, it does not look heavy and cakey whatsoever. It sets your makeup but still provides a beautiful glow from within providing a really nice soft airbrushed finish, like a very soft blurring effect. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty uh, powder brush. Just loaded it nicely on there. I'm gonna soften it like my palm. It's like airbrushes the skin without making it look really flat and matte. I keep looking at myself, I'm just seeing that I don't have my eyebrows on. <laughs> it's taking me back to my high school days. All right. Let's do the eyebrows while we're there, while we're talking about them. Two of my favorite products by Charlotte Tilbury, her eyebrows. First one being her Micro Precision Brow Pencil, her Brow Cheat in shade Natural Brown with her Legendary Brows, the Micro Precision Tinted Brow Gel. Just on its own, the brow gel is beautiful. I love that it's extremely tiny. Look at that tiniest little spoolie ever. But her brow pencil, it's actually really beautiful. I would say it's a mixture between a pomade and a pencil formula. It's creamy, but it wears really well. And it's easy to fill in your brows, creating those really nice hair-like strokes. What a difference it makes, <laughs> your eyebrows. I'm just taking the brow gel, the tinted brow gel, and just gently brushing through the hair. I'm gonna finish off the lower lash line using the same eyeshadow with a Natasha Denona number four brush. It's like a really tiny little packing smudger brush. I'm actually gonna place that same eyeliner 
in the lower lash line. Mascara, pillow talk, push up on the left eye and then leg legendary lashes on the right eye. So a new product by Charlotte Tilbury, another viral product from her, the Hollywood Glow Glide, Glow Glide, Face Architect Highlighter. Glowing, lifted, younger looking skin for cheeks, nose, jawline, eyes, and lips. I picked up shade Moonlit Glow. Looks pretty. It's a little, it's frosted. I feel like a little bit will go a long way. It's like a powder version of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm not a big fan of powder highlighters right now. I'll take a cream or a liquid any day over a powder. I'd rather use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter to highlight the high points of my face rather than a powder. It's not bad, but it just, you know, it looks like glitter sitting on top of my skin. I'm just, I'm not, not all about that. The texture, I think it's a little, it's a little chalky. It's nice and creamy, but I think it looks a little chalky on the skin. I'm just taking a little bit of the highlighter and putting it right into the inner corner. Actually looks really pretty on top of that purple, that lilac, and just a little bit below the brow bone. Let's move on to the lips, last and final by Charlotte Tilbury. Her iconic, her viral lip products, the iconic lip liner shade has to be Pillow Talk. She has lines dedicated simply to Pillow Talk. This is the original. I know she has Pillow Talk, I think Intensity 2, 3. I would say this is my first favorite lip liner shade in Iconic Nude. It's a little darker, it's not as pink, but I like wearing this with, I will share my favorite lipstick from her. So this lipstick is Charlotte Tilbury's Her Matte, and it's the Hot Lips in shade Kim KW. And I love pairing it with either the Pillow Talk or the Iconic Nude lip liner, or for more of an everyday type of a color. It's a little more rosy pink. I like this one. It's, it takes on her hot lips, but it's a satin version. It's not matte. And this is called In Love With Olivia. But I like this color for like an everyday mixed with either lip liner again. I'm gonna go with Pillow Talk today for lip liner. Let's take a little bit of Kim KW. I kinda think I want Iconic Nude. <laughs> Can't help myself. Looks really pretty. It's reminding me of spring. We have really beautiful purple, pink, white flowers that are blossoming right now outside. And this is giving me that vibe. Thank you guys so much for watching this full face of Charlotte Tilbury's viral makeup that are bestsellers. I would say definitely try the foundation, the concealer, the finishing setting powder, the eyeshadows are stunning, they're beautiful. Also recommend her brow products. I think they're really overlooked. These new blushes, I am really impressed with. I like the formula so far. Again, not the biggest fan of the mascara. I'm not the biggest fan of her eyeliners. I think they're creamy enough, but I wish they had, had or had have more pigment, a little more punch, intensity. I do enjoy her lipsticks, but they're not my favorite. And I do enjoy her lip liners, but again, they're not my favorite. Last but not least, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't recommend it. I think it's way overhyped for how people use it and how it looks on the skin. In reality, if you have pores and if you have texture, it will accentuate the texture because it's literally illuminating and highlighting the bumps and the texture and the, the pores on your skin. One other product I forgot to mention and I didn't use in the state, today's video is her cream bronzer. I actually like this more than the contour. Her cream contour, it's like a bronzer and contour in one. It definitely pulls warmer on my skin tone rather than cooler. And I think the cream bronzer is flawless. It's beautiful, very blendable, easy to work with. The only thing, it's not as long lasting. I do like to pair the cream bronzer with a powder bronzer on top to set it and lock it in place. I wasn't gonna do an update, but might as well do an update before I take my makeup off at the end of the night. Lipstick is still on. Eyeshadow still looks really good. Eyeliner is still on. Mascara, both sides has transferred. They both have transferred. Flaking more so actually on the legendary lashes versus Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, again, it transfers as much as it flakes on me, but the legendary has a little bit more flaking. I'm not sure why. Foundation, it's nice. <laughs> Pretty oily on the forehead. I didn't really touch up with powder throughout the day, but 
wanted to show you guys that the lipstick and lip liner does last a good amount of time. Both formulas, they're not my favorite formulas, not the most comfortable. As you can see, my lips look a little, uh, a little dry, a little wrinkly, but they do last a good amount of time. And I ate Chick-fil-A <laughs> with the kids and it's still, it's still on my lips, but blush is still on. I still see the blush, brows look okay. And I still don't like the highlighter. I thought I was gonna like it more with the foundation kind of melting more into my skin and like my natural oils peeking through. I don't like the highlighter. I think it's too glittery. It's a little too chunky, even though it's pretty. It's a pretty highlighter, but it's not as finely milled as I would want it to. It's a little chalky. All right, I'm gonna end it here with a quick little update and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.